What's up everyone, Train Freak here, and we're going to continue our Operations Pro with JMRI. We are on episode 6, and we're going to kind of dig into some more advanced settings. Some settings that I did not cover on the first video. So let's go ahead and open up our Operations and click on Settings. And of course we remember this screen here, and we don't really have to fool with it. But what we want to do is click on Tools and click on Options. Because now that we're getting the custom stuff in there, we want to have our build options set to be a little more aggressive. Number of passes during builds, I'm just going to leave at two for the time being. Uh, but as far as like switcher service operations, um, we want to be able to allow uh, classification interchange to classification interchange moves. We want to be able to add, allow local spur to spur moves. This is going to be a really cool feature because, like, we got, you know, Feinstein's Brewery and Riceland. You know, Riceland um, receives empty cars and they ship out grain. Well, Feinstein's can receive that grain, meaning that it's going to send those boxcars from Riceland to Feinstein's Brewery to where they necessarily would not have to go through the... Um, the yard and in retrospective it could ship the empty cars back to Riceland to be loaded with grain again also Shaka sit and we have a textile company same thing there so we definitely want these local spur to spur moves a uh, local yard to yard I'm not using regular uh, storage yards um, my yards are gonna be for classification and interchanging so having these two selected is going to help staging options we want to be able to make a, let's see, allow cars to return to staging, um, which is also available per train. We want to prompt for a departure track from staging and prompt for a rival track into staging. That's going to be good for a dispatcher, so that way the dispatch can assign specific tracks for specific type of trains. All right, uh, let's see here. Yep, try the normal mode if build. We're just going to leave a lot of these settings enable. Enable car routing, enable car routing via yards, enable car routing through staging we want enabled. Um, extreme track destination restrictions, we're not really going to mess with that. Logging options, you can fool with this if you want to. Same with custom manifest and switch list as well. And there's some other options in here as well that you can fool with that I'm not going to fool with this go around. Now there is a possibility that when we try to build things, if we do run into issues, we might have to make some changes on these, but this should be the settings that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save there. And I don't know why it's not closing. So we'll just go ahead and close and let's just reopen it to make sure everything is the way it looks. It looks all right to me, so... The next thing I wanted to show you was manifest print options. This is pretty cool. So here you can choose, you know, your font, your font size. Um, you can choose like the pick up the locomotive message. So specific, you know, things here. Set out locomotives. Same with your cars or doing like a local move. Meaning a local move for an example would be. Um, if the cotton belt dropped off a car in the interchange and of course like I said the Rock Island serves as the industries in Brinkley where the cotton belt only uses the interchange so if the cotton belt dropped off a car at the interchange then the Rock Island could take that car and it might say on the switch list that hey you need to move this car out of interchange two to say fresh and funky produce so that's something to keep in mind but you can change the order of how this shows up on your switch list. So when you print out, if you don't like the order that it's in, I mean, just come in here and you can make your changes. Um, you can change all, you know, so many different options in here. Um, one that I really like to use is this add logo. And I'm going to see if I can find this logo real quick because I don't know if I can or can't. Um, but I'm going to say that it is in, let's go to my documents, 
and I think it's going to be in my pictures. Uh, let's see here. There's pictures. And of course, the view is not a good view. So I really don't know if it's in here, but you can make a specific uh, picture. Let's see, I don't see the cotton belt. So I was looking for my cotton belt logo. Well, there's my train freak logo, so I could use it if I wanted to. So yeah, let's just throw that up there. We'll throw that that train freak logo there. So open it. And then I'll show you what that looks like in a future video. Um, hazardous comment. You can put hazardous. Um, you can put that it must be four cars. You know, things like that. <clears throat> um, you got misplaced cars. That's pretty cool too. Um, some people like using a 12-hour format. I like using the 24-hour when I'm doing my operations. I mean, there's so many different you know things that you could use on your manifest printing you could even use different colors for set outs pickups so let's say that I want the set outs to be um, green so let's choose that but I want my pickups to be red and then local moves let's say blue probably should have done it that way it might have been a little easier huh there we go so if you click on the actual color box, you get a full color chart. But if you click on the arrow, then it drops it to like that. So this is going to be pretty neat to see um, that you can set up some colors. You can choose between your portrait landscape, things like that as well. Let's see, font. Let's do Arial. I like Arial. And let's say I want to go for font 12. And so let's do a save. And it should write it. So there you go. So that's kind of some of the extra things that you can do that I did not mention before. So, all right. Well, other than that, let's uh, get ready to get a train going. So y'all have a good one. Happy railroading.